Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on data structure and this video is a continuation video over min heap and a max heap. So in previous video, you will get that video somewhere here. You must be seeing that link here somewhere. If you want, you can watch that video before watching this. And I recommend please, if you don't know what is heapification and what is max heap and min heap basically, and my previous video, I have explained like what is min heap and max heap? Why do you really need that? Because that is really very important because some people don't really understand when you really need heaps and they just kind of ignore that data structure and the complexities and all that. So don't miss that video if you are new. So let's continue this video now. As I said, all these things are clear. If you have watched my previous video, you must be knowing that, okay, this is a max heap. Okay. This is max heap. This was the given array and these are the formulas like you have left child formula, you have right child formula and then parent formula. Okay. I'll straight go and start explaining the insertion and the deletion. So first I'll explain the insertion. Like if you are getting the data, how can you go and just start building the tree out of it? So if you have this data and you want to create a tree out of it, how you can do that? So first of all, you'll get one. So that is going to be a root and yeah, remember that you can only insert in this order first root, then this, then this, then this, then this, 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 like this, right? You have this, 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 like this. So if you notice this, I'm moving from top to bottom, but left to right. Okay. I will not skip. I mean, I will not insert here and then after that here. No, this is not allowed. Okay. Then only it is going to complete or have a complete binary tree property because heaps are complete binary tree. If they are not, you cannot have so many things working. So you have to maintain this complete binary tree thing in order to implement these things properly. So yeah, we inserted one and then we'll insert four. Correct. This is the second element. The moment you insert four, initially you inserted one. So there was nothing. So it was okay. The moment you inserted four and you inserted four in the left hand side, because we have to start inserting from the left. Let me remind that again. Okay. Because people do this mistake, like, okay, this, this is one and then four is greater than one. Then they, they will start inserting here. This is not binary search tree. Okay. This is not binary search tree, but we do have to do something. So that is, see, we inserted four here and now you have to follow a property. If it is max heap, because either you must be constructing a max heap, I mean, binary max heap or binary min heap. Whenever I'll say max or min, I mean binary max or binary min, because there are few other heap trees also like binomial and Fibonacci heap is also there. So this is binary max min heap video. We'll learn all those heap topics in future. So coming back to this insertion, we inserted four. And I told you, if it is max, we have to maintain one rule. Your parent node should always be greater than the children nodes. Okay. This should be the rule. If it is min heap, then this should be less than meaning your parent node should be less than the children nodes. And this property should be applied to each and every node in the tree. Okay. So let's see if it is applied here. No, it is not. Why? Because we are dealing with the max heap and this is a max heap construction and this child is greater than one. I mean the parent. So we have to swap them after swapping. This will become four and this will be one. Now this is good. We'll insert three. Now three is okay. Why? Because three is less than four and we don't have to do anything with the siblings. Okay. And then we'll insert seven, seven will obviously come here and then see we have violation here. So we'll move seven here and one here, seven and one. But see, we still have violation because seven is greater than four. Then we have to move four here and seven here. So seven will come here and four will come here. Now this is fine. Then we'll insert eight. Eight will obviously go here. Then we see a violation here. So eight here and four here. And then see, we still have the violation. Eight should come here, right? So we'll move eight here and seven will swap. So this is fine now. After this, we'll insert nine. 9 will obviously come to the left hand side of this tree, right? But then we have the violation here. In that case, we'll swap and then we will have to further swap. Okay. So I'll just directly change the values because it is hectic. So 9, 8 and 3 after swapping. Then we'll insert 10. Insert 10 that would come here. Then we have to swap with 8. So 10 will come here and 8 will come here. 
but then still this is uh, the violation then 9 will come here and ultimately 10 will come here now if you compare these two see last video we saw that this is the max heap tree and in this video we see this is the max heap tree but if you notice this we have 7 and 9 here we had 8 and 9 here but this is not the problem because if you see this like it is following the property all the parent nodes are bigger than the children nodes this is very important what are the siblings and all that that is not important okay so i'm just telling you that it is possible that two max heap are not equal but they do follow the property and they are valid max heap tree so let's quickly see the code oh no before that let's see what is deletion and how we do that so for deletion you have this max heap and when we talk about the deletion that happens only at the root level meaning you will always delete the root node so if i want to remove something from this tree then i'll have to remove it from the top i cannot do randomly so let's assume that after constructing this we have a new array look which is like this we have 10 then 7 3 and 8 okay these are the index sorry one two three so as i told we have to remove 10 so let's assume that you have removed it there is no 10 right now now people think that either 7 will go here or 9 will go what we can do is maybe 9 is bigger so we'll push 9 there no we will not do like that it is possible that if you do this you will end up having a not complete binary tree okay you may end up changing this tree in a way that this will not be a complete binary tree so there is a specific way if you remove root you removed it now you have to insert here the last element this is the last element of the tree right or if you are getting confused here see this so you have to place 8 here so 8 will come here and then if you are maintaining some n to say that i have these many elements in the array you have to decrement that n to say that now i have removed one element from it because it is possible that your array size is maybe thousand and you are maintaining only hundreds of data that is quite possible so let's see how this goes i have moved eight here now the moment you insert eight here you have to start heapifying from top to bottom you will see out of this this and this which one is bigger 9 is bigger right then you will swap yourself with that so 8 will come here and 9 will come here then you will see after swapping am I still breaking some property no because 8 is greater than 3 so we are done and then we'll stop then we'll remove 9 from here or I don't have to do that because it is very simple if you will remove this you have to insert this 3 now here and then you do the happy heapification and just keep swapping till you are breaking that rule that parent should be bigger than the child if it is satisfied just break from there leave it I think we are good let's look quickly see the code now so this is your complete code we have this heapify method we have this delete root and then insert node so let's quickly see the insert node first insertion is very easy like you always insert in the end right so see we are having this key what we want to insert we have what is the length of the array and then we have the array we just did that okay we are going to increment the size of the array and then in the end you just inserted that key now after inserting that you have to see if it is violating any rule so till i is reaching to the top you will do this loop so you have initialized i with the n so you are actually in the end because n oh yeah so this is like n yeah because your new n is after incrementing this n right so new is like one more than the last time so we incremented this n and initialize the value at that and then we take that last index and say that parent of that node is going to be i divided by 2 because we know that this is the rule we have parent rule okay so we got the parent here now we'll check if the parent is less than your current inserted node if that is true then you will swap it and then i will be initialized with the parent because now you have to subsequently check further parents right so basically after swapping that those two values you will make i is equal to parent 
and then you will further go and check if that is having any violation okay and in this loop you will just keep on checking from bottom to top and keep swapping if you are not swapping meaning this is not true then you will just simply return from here so insertion takes log and time okay order of log and time let's quickly go to the deletion part so deletion is also very simple I told you that deletion always happens at the root so we just took the last element here it is not n minus 1 sorry for that so the last element is n and we say that okay this is the last element we initialized that last element to the first location see this and then we say n is equal to n minus 1 because we have just decremented one position now we say heapify see it is really very important after deleting it you know that at zeroth location there is something which is not properly placed okay you know that you just inserted at zeroth location so you want to heapify max heapify from zeroth location let's see how we'll do that this is from the previous video you just get the left and right children you compare them and if you feel that you should swap then you will swap and then recursively call further so you will from top you will be traversing downwards in the tree and once you encounter that okay this if is not true then you will reverse in the recursion and this function will end so deletion is also log n order of log n so insertion and deletion happens at log n time because in deletion also you have to traverse from top to bottom because you have deleted the top node okay so you have to insert the last element if this is the last then you have to insert here and then you have to traverse like this so that's why it is taking log n time for deletion and insertion is also same in insertion you go from bottom to top because you always insert in the end like this and then you keep on checking whether the property of max heap or min heap is valid so this also takes log and time so i think we are good thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos and if you have some doubt please comment i'll definitely answer